Let me just explain part of the reason I've gone into some detail on these statements by Wendy Olson. Any fair telling of the Twin Falls story, you have to mention the Wendy Olson statement. And this is a long piece in the New York Times Magazine that was worked on for months and months. And I, again, I spent hours talking to Caitlin Dickerson, the reporter, hours. And I made it very clear and you can hear that if you listen to the radio interview that I did with Bannon that I linked to earlier. I made it very clear that part of my interest in this story was the way Wendy Olson handled it. And in particular, I told Caitlin Dickerson that I was standing up for the people against a government and media that had diminished the story. So what happens? The New York Times comes along with a piece that diminishes the story. And the goal of the Times here is very clear. The goal of the Times is to tell their left-wing readers, there's nothing here. This is a right-wing nutty, nut job story. It's full of lies. It's Breitbart. It's this guy with no reporting experience. That's what their goal is. And, of course, and you can see this in the comments, which, by the way, feel free to leave one of your own. You can see in the comments that it's working. The New York Times readers don't say, well, gee, where's, where's the citations? Where's the links? They just accept the story as written. So I think this is the thing that's very disturbing about what the mainstream media does. In this case, they're acting as a gatekeeper to literally shut down people, to tell people, move along, nothing to see here. And it's, it's one of the reasons that this story is so dangerous, not just dishonest.